What if I tell you, if you see this type of fish, then it's doom. Doom means your place will soon be affected by natural disaster. That is why it is called as doomsday fish. Marine animals often large and serpent-like, entwined with folklore as potential harbingers of natural disasters. The most prominent of these enigmatic creatures is the giant oarfish, a colossal denizen of the deep that can reach lengths of over 30 feet. Its elongated silvery body and vibrant red dorsal fin resembling a mythical sea serpent. Sightings of these colossal fish, often found beached or swimming erratically near the surface, have long been regarded as ill omens in Japanese folklore, their appearance believed to presage impending seismic activity. While the scientific community remains skeptical, the sheer number of anecdotal accounts and the undeniable correlation between these deep-sea sightings and subsequent natural disasters have kept the legend of the doomsday fish very much alive. Perhaps the most compelling evidence linking doomsday fish to natural disasters comes from Japan. In the years leading up to the devastating Tohoku earthquake and tsunami of 2011, fishermen began reporting an alarming increase in sightings of deep-sea creatures, including the elusive oarfish. These sightings were not just occasional, they became a frequent topic of conversation among the coastal communities. These normally reclusive giants were spotted swimming erratically near the surface, some even beaching themselves, causing great concern among the locals. Their massive, silvery bodies were a stark contrast to the familiar sights of the coastal waters, creating an eerie and unsettling atmosphere. Local newspapers published articles about the unusual sightings, sparking debates and discussions among scientists and laypeople alike. The ancient legends of the Ryugu Notsukai, or messenger from the sea god's palace, resurfaced in the public consciousness, blending folklore with the present-day events. Whether mere coincidence or a manifestation of some deeper connection between the Earth's tectonic plates and the behavior of deep-sea creatures, the phenomenon intrigued many. The sightings of the oarfish in the months preceding the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami have become inextricably linked to the tragedy, leaving a lasting impression on the collective memory of the nation. The link between doomsday fish sightings and seismic activity extends far beyond the shores of Japan. This phenomenon has been observed in various parts of the world, indicating a possible global pattern. In 2010, Chile experienced a devastating earthquake measuring 8.8 .8 on the Richter scale, triggering a tsunami that ravaged coastal towns and claimed over 500 lives. The destruction was widespread, leaving communities in ruins and families devastated. In the weeks preceding the Chilean earthquake, fishermen reported an unprecedented number of deep-sea creatures, including oarfish and other rarely seen species, appearing in shallow waters or washing ashore. These sightings were both alarming and intriguing, raising questions about the behavior of marine life before seismic events. One particularly striking incident involved the stranding of over 200 Humboldt squid, aggressive predators typically found in deep, cold waters along the Chilean coast. The sheer number of stranded squid was unprecedented and baffling to local fishermen and scientists alike. While scientists attributed the strandings to possible disorientation caused by El Nino or other environmental factors, the timing of the event, so close to the devastating earthquake, fueled speculation of a deeper connection. Could these marine creatures sense the impending disaster? The Chilean earthquake, like the Tohoku disaster in Japan, served as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of life on Earth and the mysteries that still surround the depths of our oceans. These events highlight the need for further research into the behavior of marine life and their potential role as indicators of seismic activity. The link between doomsday fish and natural disasters extends beyond earthquakes and tsunamis, encompassing the fury of hurricanes and severe storms. During the particularly active hurricane season of 2017, which saw devastating storms like Hurricanes Harvey, Irma and Maria, sightings of oarfish spiked along the coasts of the United States and the Caribbean. Fishermen reported seeing these deep-sea denizens swimming near the surface, their elongated bodies and vibrant red dorsal fins a stark contrast to the familiar sights of the coastal waters. 
Whether mere coincidence or a manifestation of some deeper connection between the atmosphere and the deep ocean, the correlation between doomsday fish sightings and hurricane activity adds another layer of intrigue to the mystery. Beyond the oarfish, other marine messengers of doom. The frilled shark, a prehistoric looking creature with rows of needle-like teeth, is one such example. This rarely seen shark, typically found at depths of up to 5,000 feet, has been known to venture into shallower waters in the days preceding earthquakes and tsunamis. Another deep-sea creature linked to natural disasters is the giant squid, a colossal invertebrate with eyes the size of dinner plates and tentacles that can reach over 30 feet in length. In 2004, just days before the devastating Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami, a giant squid, measuring over 50 feet in length, washed ashore on a beach in Indonesia, fueling speculation of a deeper connection between the behavior of marine creatures and the Earth's seismic activity. The persistent link between doomsday fish sightings and natural disasters has sparked intense curiosity and debate within the scientific community. Researchers and scientists are constantly trying to understand the underlying mechanisms that could explain this mysterious phenomenon. One theory posits that deep-sea creatures, particularly those residing near the ocean floor, may be sensitive to subtle changes in water pressure or electromagnetic fields associated with seismic activity. These creatures might have evolved to detect these minute changes as a survival mechanism. As tectonic plates shift and grind against each other, they release enormous amounts of energy, some of which may manifest as subtle changes in the ocean environment. This energy release can cause vibrations and shifts in the water column, which might be picked up by the highly sensitive sensory organs of deep sea creatures. These changes, imperceptible to humans and our current instruments, could be detected by deep sea creatures, prompting them to alter their behavior. This alteration in behavior could be a form of early warning system for these creatures, allowing them to move to safer areas. Another theory suggests that deep sea creatures may be affected by changes in the Earth's magnetic field, which can fluctuate in the days or weeks preceding earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. These magnetic field changes could disrupt the natural navigation systems of these creatures. Some animals, such as birds and sea turtles, are known to use the Earth's magnetic field for navigation, and it's possible that deep sea creatures possess a similar ability. If these creatures rely on magnetic fields to navigate, any disruption could cause them to behave erratically, leading to increased sightings near the surface. Ancient Myths and Modern Legends Doomsday Fish in Folklore Across cultures and continents, ancient myths and legends speak of monstrous sea creatures, often serpent-like in appearance, that emerge from the depths to herald impending doom. In Japanese mythology, the Namazu, a giant catfish said to dwell beneath the islands, is believed to be responsible for earthquakes. Similarly, in Norse mythology, the Jormungandr, or Midgard serpent, is a colossal sea serpent that encircles the world. These ancient myths and legends reflect a deep-seated human fascination with the ocean and its mysterious inhabitants. They also highlight a sense of awe and fear in the face of nature's raw power, a recognition of our own vulnerability in the face of forces beyond our control. Thanks for watching. Let the mystery continue.